You might be walking around with diabetes and not even know it. That's not an exaggeration. Millions of people have no idea they're living with diabetes because it's easy to ignore the signs. But here's the thing. Catching it early helps avoid a lot of the long-term complications diabetes can cause. That's why in this video, I'm going to explain 10 important signs of diabetes. Let's quickly cover what's actually going on in diabetes. Your body needs insulin to help move sugar from your blood into your cells so you can use it for energy. But in diabetes, that system breaks down. Either your body doesn't make enough insulin or your cells stop responding to the insulin properly. As a result, sugar builds up in your bloodstream and over time, that can do serious damage to your organs, nerves, and blood vessels. Diabetes type 2 is the most common kind and that's the one we are focusing on today. One of the earliest and most noticeable signs of diabetes is this unrelenting thirst that doesn't seem to go away no matter how much water you drink. People often describe it as feeling like their mouth is always dry. Even first thing in the morning after a full night of rest or drinking glass after glass of water without any real relief. When your blood sugar is high, your kidneys go into overdrive, trying to get rid of the excess glucose. But to flush that sugar out, they also pull more water from your bloodstream. That increases urination and leaves your body constantly low on fluids. Your brain responds by cranking up your thirst response. So you keep drinking more and more trying to catch up but your body keeps losing water just as fast. It becomes a vicious cycle. You drink more, you urinate more, and you still feel dry. I actually once diagnosed someone with diabetes just by observing this exact behavior. During a routine visit, the patient kept reaching for their water bottle, constantly sipping, putting it down, and sipping again throughout their entire conversation. When I asked about it, they admitted they had been unusually thirsty for weeks. We ran some labs and sure enough, their blood sugar was way above normal. People try to quench their thirst by drinking juice, soda, or sweetened coffee drinks, not realizing that those are packed with sugar, which only worsens the problem. That's why this symptom of excessive thirst, if ignored, can go on for weeks or even months before someone realizes something more serious is going on. If you find yourself constantly reaching out for water, especially if it's paired with more frequent bathroom trips, it's time to pay attention. It might not just be dehydration, it could be your body trying to manage high blood sugar on its own. Urination is one of the key signs that something is off. It's closely tied to that intense thirst we just talked about because your body is trying to dump sugar through your urine. When there is too much sugar in the bloodstream, your kidneys step in to help filter it out, but they can't do it without pulling water along with the sugar. That means the more sugar they try to flush, the more you end up losing fluids. You might find yourself needing to urinate far more frequently than usual, especially at night. Even if you didn't drink much before bed, you could still be waking up multiple times to go. It's frustrating and often brushed off as aging or a small bladder, but it's actually a sign of diabetes. If you've noticed your vision getting worse or things suddenly looking blurry, it could be more than just needing new glasses. High blood sugar can shift fluid in and out of the lens in your eye, changing the shape and making it harder to focus. That's why some people with diabetes experience vision that gets blurry, clears up, and then goes blurry again. It's not permanent at first, but if the high sugar continues, it can lead to more serious eye problems down the line. So if your vision keeps changing for no clear reason, especially alongside other symptoms, it's worth getting checked out. Here is a simple test that could reveal a hidden complication of diabetes. Press your hands together in a prayer position. In a healthy person, the palms and fingers should line up and touch evenly. But if your fingers can't fully straighten or your palms don't come together completely, that would be a positive prayer sign a clue to a condition called diabetic stiff hand syndrome. It's a form of limited joint mobility that can develop after years of high blood sugar, often going unnoticed because it's painless. This happens when sugar in the blood binds to connective tissue in your hands, making them tight and less flexible. A lot of people think it's arthritis, but the cause is actually high blood sugar stiffening the tissues in your hands. This sign surprises a lot of people. You would think high blood sugar would lead to weight gain, but in uncontrolled diabetes, the opposite often happens. When your cells can't absorb sugar properly because insulin isn't working the way it should, your body starts looking for alternative fuel sources. It begins breaking down fat and eventually muscle just to keep your energy levels up. That's why you might be eating your regular meals or even feeling hungrier than usual, 
but still notice the number on the scale dropping. Sign number six is unusual fatigue. You may feel exhausted all the time, even after a full night of sleep. This could be another big red flag. And it's not just being tired from a long day. It's a deep, dragging fatigue that doesn't go away with rest. Your body is taking in sugar, but the cells are not able to use it properly for energy. So even though you're technically fueling up, it's like your tank stays empty. That lack of energy impacts everything. Your focus, your drive, even simple tasks can start to look overwhelming. People often think it's just stress, aging, or burnout. But when that kind of fatigue sticks around for weeks, and doesn't improve with sleep or better habits, it's worth looking deeper. If you keep getting infections, especially skin infections, yeast infections, or urinary tract infections, it might be more than just bad luck. Chronic high blood sugar affects the way your immune system works. It slows down your white blood cells, which are your body's first line of defense against bacteria and fungi. At the same time, sugar itself creates a more inviting environment for these microbes to grow. That's why infections become more frequent more stubborn and harder to fully get rid of. Some people notice they're constantly dealing with small boils, recurrent UTIs, or fungal infections in places like their feet, underarms, or groin. Others may find that common skin irritations keep coming back or start spreading. If infections keep showing up or seem to linger no matter what you try, it could be your body struggling to keep things in balance due to high sugar levels. The next sign is slow healing. Let's say you get a cut a scrape, or even a small blister. Normally, it should close up and heal within a few days. But if your blood sugar is constantly elevated, that healing process slows way down. High glucose interferes with circulation, which means less oxygen and fewer nutrients reach the damaged area. It also disrupts your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off bacteria and repair the tissue efficiently. As a result, even minor injuries can linger for weeks. Some people don't even notice a wound until it gets red, swollen, or starts to hurt. By then, it may already be infected. And in more severe cases, that delayed healing can lead to ulcers or deeper skin breakdown, especially on the feet and legs. If simple cuts are taking unusually long to heal, it's a sign worth paying attention to. One of the more serious complications of diabetes is nerve damage, and it can start early, often in the feet. You might notice numbness, tingling, or even a burning sensation. It can feel like when you sit in the same position for too long and your leg starts tingling, almost like pins and needles. But instead of going away after a few seconds, that feeling just sticks around or keeps coming back, especially at night. This is peripheral neuropathy, and it usually develops gradually. I actually have a story about this. A man in his late 50s came into the office complaining that his feet felt numb all the time. He said it felt like he was wearing socks even when he wasn't. At first, he thought it was just poor circulation or standing too long at work. He told me that he was walking barefoot on the hot sand at the beach for a couple of hours and didn't realize that his feet were burning until he tried to put his shoes back on. That's when he saw the severe burns. He ended up requiring very extensive medical treatments. We ran his labs and sure enough, his sugar was very high. We got him on treatments and while things improved, the damage could not be fully reversed. Take a look at the skin around your neck, under your arms, or even in other body folds like the groin. If it looks darker than the surrounding skin, feels thicker, or has a slightly velvety texture, could be a condition called acanthosis nigricans. This is often an early visible sign that insulin is not functioning properly. When insulin levels are too high, it can cause skin cells to grow and pigment abnormally, especially in areas where the skin rubs together. It's especially common in people who are overweight, but it can show up in anyone. A lot of people mistake it for dirt or a skin issue, but no amount of scrubbing removes acanthosis nigricans because it's coming from the inside out. If any of these signs sound familiar, it's worth getting checked. The most accurate way to test for diabetes is with a hemoglobin A1C test. It gives your average sugar over the past two to three months. It's a simple blood test and it's far more reliable than a one-time finger prick. If your A1C is 6.5% or higher, that's typically considered diabetes. But even if it's just elevated, it means you're at risk and you have a chance to turn things around. Diabetes doesn't always come with obvious symptoms, and a lot of the early warning signs can be easily ignored. But your body is constantly trying to tell you when something is off. You just have to know how to listen. If anything in this video sounds familiar, please don't wait. Make an appointment with your doctor and ask about testing. Remember, this is not medical advice. 
just educational information. Stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.